Hi there everyone. Today I wanted to show you guys a quick and cool little workflow um, coming from Marvelous Designer to uh, Blender and back to get some cool looking um, geometry because there's a big problem with um, exporting geometry out of Marvelous Designer and getting um, great looking low poly uh, flows. So this is a character that I'm working on right now. And if I go ahead and render him out a little bit, I'll show you what the uh, clothes look like. So, so this is um, what the clothes look like. And these were created inside of Marvelous Designer and brought out um, into Blender. And so you get all those nice little creases and all that good stuff out of Marvelous Designer. And I'll show you what the topology looks like. So this is a really, really low poly version. And so if I hide this and I come back over here and I do the same for the pants. And this was all done, created inside of Marvelous Designer. So if I come over to Marvelous Designer here and you'll see that this was all created here in Marvelous Designer. And so I'm going to go through uh, the workflow on how to get out good geometry or, well, at least to retopologize the geometry um, from Marvelous Designer inside of uh, Blender. Um, now I'm going to show a workflow to do it from Blender and I'm going to show a workflow to do it inside of ZBrush, a quick, quick, really quick, easy way. And so what you want to do inside of Marvelous Designer you want to highlight your garment that you are going to export out and then you want to come to file and you want to come to export export obj selected and you will save that out and how we do this is uh we save it out as a single object unweld thin unified uv coordinates uh centimeters now you can change the scale down to um say something like 10 percent if you want i think that would work good for uh inside of blender blender units and that is it and then you just press ok and you export that out now the next thing you want to do is you want to export the flat geometry also so inside of marvelous you right click and reset 2d arrangement just like that and then you'll want to go to file export obj selected and you'll want to do the same thing here as you did um, the other piece just like that and then we can go back into blender here and let me open up a new scene and we'll come over here and i'm going to go ahead and set my units to centimeters just like that and then i'm going to press in and you'll need to make clipping bigger so i'm going to just do 100 meters just like that and now your clipping will be fixed and then I'm going to go ahead and import the OBJ that we exported. So it is here and we are going to import the full geometry one. And so now we got it, we got it here inside of Blender here. And you'll see, um, I did not, uh, inside of Marvelous Designer, you could turn your, this mesh from triangles. You could turn them into quads if you'd like. I just left them triangles because we are going to go ahead and redo the topology anyway. Um, and so the reason I'm going to show you the reason why we had to export the, the full geometry and the flat geometry. So next thing I'm going to do is import the flat geometry just like that. And now you'll see we got the flat geometry inside of here. And so if we come here and we mess with the the shape keys so we'll want to click on this one and we'll want to give the shape key the base so this is the base um, and you do that so the shape keys know the starting position and then we will want to click on the mesh that we want to have the shape from and then click back onto the flat geometry here and we'll want to Come down here to this little arrow. And we'll want to click on join as shapes. 
And so now if I come back to this flat geometry here, you'll see that when I click on the new shape key that's created, we got the, the flat geometry folding around our original shape here. And that's exactly what we want. And so we can move this back and forth just like that. And now the next thing you'll want to do is, so I'm gonna go ahead and press M on my keyboard and I'm gonna move these to a second layer and then come over here and move them and we can press Shift D and then put them in place there. And now we got two copies and now you can come into edit mode, sorry, on the second piece, let's go ahead and take off this shape key here. And now let's go back into edit mode. And now from here, you could go ahead and you could start remeshing this um, any any way you want. Um, we could also, if you got um, the retopo flow, so we could come in here and we could use the poly pin on this and we could come, come in here and hold down control, click, oops. Click on here, scroll click, just like that. And we could come and fill in this geometry pretty quickly, just like this. Um, and you just go through here and you'll retopologize the stuff to a low poly version on how, how you want it and how you want the topology to be. And you'll just make it all pretty and and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to sit here and retopologize this whole thing. I'm going to go ahead and show you a a way to go ahead and do this inside of ZBrush. So we're going to go ahead and, or a quick, easy way to do this inside of ZBrush. And so we're going to come over to ZBrush and I'm going to go ahead and import that flat geometry. And I'm going to drag it out here. And I'm going to go ahead and play properties. I'm going to turn it on so we can see double sided. And then I'm going to come in here to my sub tools. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And I'm going to work on this bottom piece here. And then we're just going to go down to Z Remesher. And for this, I'm going to put the topology down. I'm going to put it down to like 0.85. That should be enough. And I'm going to turn the adaptation up just a little bit. Then I'm going to press Shift F on my keyboard to see the geometry. And then I'm just going to Z remesh this real quick. And you'll see that this gives us a quick, dirty Z remesh. Now, now there's going to be some stuff that you'll you'll have to um, fix on on this geometry but i will go ahead and i will show you a quick fix on that so we want to come down to your export and you want to turn off group export you don't want to export the different poly groups and we'll just export this so this would be the same concept um as it is inside of blender we're just doing this as an automatic way so i'm going to go ahead and let's see we got this one this one, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and delete this. And we'll leave one version in here. And I'm going to go ahead and import the new geometry. And now you'll see um, that if we go into the new geometry. So if I go into edit mode, vertex, now you'll see that we got a very nice, clean looking mesh here now we're going to have to fix this up a little bit so you just come into your faces and you'll clean it up normally um you can come back here to vertex and screw this out let's go into front ortho and let's extrude this out just like that and then let's just go ahead and fill this in We'll have to fix this one over here too. So let's go ahead and delete faces. I'm not going to go through uh, 
all of this and redo all of this. I already have a version of this in Blender that I'm going to show you guys, but I'm just going to show you guys the basis of how to clean this up. So what you want to do is you want to go and look and see on your geometry. So we got one. So if we just select these right here, and if you look up top right here on the verts, you'll see that we got five verts here. And on this side, we got five verts. And so your arms are going to connect to this. So we're going to have to have the same geometry as, as your connection. So we'll want five points on this arm to connect to here, five points on this arm to connect to here, um, because this is just going to make life so much easier for you when you go ahead and you um, put the shape key back on this and you guys want to, um, you know, connect your vertices. So if you don't have the same points, then it's just going to make your life so much harder. So you'll want to do that. Let me go ahead and open up a file that I've already got here. So let me see. I think it's this one. So you'll see that I got a version already that I went through and I cleaned up all the topology on. So you see that I went here and there's five points here on this side. So you see up here five verts and then you come over here and I got five verts on this side just because this is how I want, you know what I mean, to connect it. And when you go to ver merge your vertices later on. And so I got the same geometry here on this end, and it just gives you clean geometry. And so we got the low poly version and the high poly version. Now, there's, there's an issue here. We can't just go and use the shape keys anymore because um, now we don't have the same geometry. And inside of Blender, they want you to have the same amount of verts for, in order for you to use shape keys. Um, I know Amaya uh, that... This, uh, this, I think this is the same case for blend shapes inside of Maya, but there's, uh, I think it's pretty much the same steps. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Um, but anyways, so if I click on the high poly, you'll see that we still have the shape key on here. And so now if we click on the low poly, what we'll want to do is we'll want to come over to modifiers. And we will want to go into the deform. And we'll want to click on surface deform. And I'm going to turn this uh, interpolation fall off all the way up to 16 to the highest. And then we're going to go ahead and make the target the Ichigo flat. Just like that. And then we are going to bind these. Just like that. And now if we go back into our high poly and we go to the shape key. You'll see now that we got our low poly uh, back to our shape. And that's, that's all we needed to do. So now um, what you'll want to do is let me go ahead and hide the top. So let me get rid of the high poly version and let me hide that. And now you'll, you can look and see <clears throat> that our low poly is shaped how we want it. And now all we got to go through here is uh, connect the dots, connect the vertices. So what you want to do is you want to click back on this. And you'll want to go ahead and just apply it. And now we can come in here and now you have your mesh. And all you want to do is you'll just want to go ahead and come through here. And you'll want to go ahead and connect your dots. Okay. And just go around. And yeah, this might seem like a a long way to do it, but trust me, this is so much easier than just going through and having to try to retopologize the mesh um, with it already in this form. And you just go through here, and like I said, you just connect your dots. And as I see here, we got a little bit of an issue here with this that got flipped a little bit. Now you might get some of these issues because um, that deforms not perfect. 
but it's an easy fix. Just move your geometry and then come back in and you'll just want to merge your vertices just like that. And like I said, uh, to retopologize inside of Blender, uh, there's, um, there's Retopo flow. There's, um, Pete's Wazoo's, um, speed Retopo that works just as good. Um, he just, uh, set up a pie menu for B surface add on and, um, and it works totally great. So there's, there's some free options out there for you for retopologizing. Um, Retopo Flow is a paid add-on, but I I th I think they offer it for free, but without no um, support and stuff like that. But it's always better to support the devs. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Now you'll notice that this this geometry here is the normals are wrong. So you just want to go ahead and select all your normals, press Control N, and recalculate those, and you'll have the geometry facing the right way and then if we go back to my the full version over here and just go into material mode you guys will see like i said you get uh however you retopologize or not retop sorry however you um do you guys materials and quixel or if you use blender or or however it is um so if I come back over here and I draw the wire and all the edges, you'll see that it looks great. You just do some normal map tricks and this and that and the other. And uh, make sure you keep your high poly mesh for baking and all that good stuff. And, and you could get a good result. So I hope this uh, will help you guys um, in your future endeavor endeavors and um, I do have to credit um, this guy on um, YouTube because he's the one who showed me this this workflow here. So it's uh, Alex Mann. So I, I do appreciate trying to see a better workflow on, on how from where I used to do it. And I came across this video and man, oh man, is, is this a, a great help. So thanks to him. And I just wanted to show you guys how you guys can do this inside of Blender 2. So I hope you guys have a great day and great holidays, and I will see you next time.